Hi, I'm Meg Tucker, and this is Josh. And who do we have here? We got Charlie with us today. Hi, Charlie. We're at the Bone and Biscuit. This is my favorite place, and this is literally like coming home. Uh, it's an awesome, awesome pet store that will give you everything you need if you've got a puppy, a dog, a kitten, a kitty, um, or if you just want to come hang out with these fun, <laughs> these fun guys. I'm Meg Tucker. You can find me on megtucker.ca, and every month, Josh and I have... <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Every month, we have a chat, and today, because the temperatures have been so ridiculous... We, it's time for flannels. I know. I'm in a sweater. You're in flannel. And we kind of decided let's fast track through fall and get our pups ready for the cool weather. So before we start jumping into these really cool products, give us the thumbs up. Tell us where you are from. And then you'll definitely want to watch right to the end because you always give something special, right. a, a cool, fun thing. So shall we go? Let's talk. What do you want to start with? Let's start with something fun. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do it. So now that we're going to the dog park later, it's yes. already dark out. It's been dark for quite a while. Yes. And everyone loses their tennis balls. It's true. So this guy here doesn't light up because it's still in the package. Um, I need you to say the name of it, please. <laughs> so this is the Huck and Tuck. The Huck and Tuck. So it's collapsible, so you can throw <gasps> it in your backpack. Okay. Um, and it's very light, very bright LED in there. That's fantastic. Um, and you can see it for... A long ways away so you're never gonna lose another tennis ball I believe one not on the 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 huck part but the ball itself we have at home you gave us yeah. and it's insanity you guys these are very cool the dogs go nuts even in the backyard if you're not at the dog park it's true yeah. okay so that's fun and keeps them protected and then I'm hearing everything about these collars yeah so it's really important again just it being dark and the visibility of you and your dog um, these ones have a super bright light in them. Yep. Um, it's kind of hard to see when it's light out. Okay. Um, but they flash or they just stay on. Um, very long battery life too, so you should probably only have to have one battery per season. Yes. Um, just another kind of safety thing to keep you and your pet um, very visible if you're walking out around town. In that now, um, this might sound like a silly question, but again, hi Belle, come <laughs> here. Come up and see us. Do you need to um, know the exact... Um, What's the circumference of your dog or do you have to bring your dog in the best is to bring them in okay. but if you can always get a measurement just a rough measurement of their neck makes things way easier for us yes and then it saves you coming back and forth a couple of times trying to get the right size uh, so i always say yeah. bring your puppy in because we love to see them of yep. course uh, but if not just grab a quick measurement around their neck uh, just a loose measurement and that'll help us out a lot making sure you get the right size um, my husband Wadey is here, and uh, how many times have I yelled to Wade, go measure Oliver's <laughs> neck? Because I'm never quite sure, and they grow and change, and then right. sometimes things shift. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi there. Okay, so we've got some fun stuff and some collars. This. This is very important, too. Oh, man. Um, again, just a visibility thing. Oh. If a headlight hits this, it's going to shine right up. Um, another good thing is if you're... Maybe in the county, it is hunting season, yep. um, and you don't want to take any chances there either. Um, there are some maybe not so smart people out there, and oh. it's always better to be safe than sorry and have them, uh, you know, highly visible. Um, Charlie will be joining us on the laptop, so yeah. please send your questions in. <laughs> She'll answer any questions. She will have. be answering all the questions <laughs> this evening on my laptop. You are a doll. Um, I'm not supposed. Your dad's going to be mad because I'm giving you all these treats and we haven't even started. Okay, so we've got um, some good reflective stuff. Can we please discuss the fact that in Alberta, we have already had snow and it's not even October? It's lots of fun. Okay, so uh, help me out with the entire jacket thing. We're going to talk booties and balm and everything else, but as far as a coat, when we got Oliver, who is now a year and nine months, I'm going to admit, I thought, this is ridiculous. He does not need a coat. I felt the same way for many years. You well. did. And you, yeah. what did you tell me when I came in and said, do I really need a coat? He's a lab. Yes. You did. You said, yeah. would you want to be outside in minus 40? And, and I mean, you know, quick walks are usually okay. Yeah. But if you're going for any more than, you know, 20, 30 minutes on a real cold night, yep. um, their paws, everything else will get, you know, it's yeah. cold. and. Even if they have lots of hair, you know, it's still just the time out there, they can get, you know, very cold. 
So your feeling on it is, it's not, I mean, it can get fashion, but it is function. It is, yeah. And, you know, we have lots of different kind of price ranges to choose from. Okay. So, you know, if a $150 jacket isn't in your budget, we have lots that'll, you know, keep them warm. Oh my gosh. Um, very well made. This one is actually uh, handmade as well. Okay. Um, just a lady in Bowdoin who makes these. Yep. Um, so this is a very basic, you know, just kind of keeping them warm. Yep. Um, not so much waterproof, but um, something to throw on them when you're, you know, but out see, for See, what I like about this is that it's... It's almost like a little baby pony blanket, like a horse blanket. It is mostly like a horse blanket. Yeah. It's very simple. And easy. then he can still, they can still pee, yeah. and it's not going to be super restrictive. There are some coats. We were in a real bind to try to find Ollie the right coat, and it was like the rodeo came to town trying to get it on him. But something like this, I think, is good. So price point for that around thirty bucks. Yeah, and it's which it's is going to last a long time. Which um, is good. We've used her products for many years. She makes beds and things as well. All very easily. Four Dog Night. That's right. Four She's dog the night. one that we were showing some of the beds that are here That's in the right. store as well. And so she branches out and makes lots of different things. Okay. Very easily washable. They're going to hold up. Okay. Um, um, what is this? So this is another one she makes. This one's a little oh, more. This is her too. This is her as well. Love so this it. one is reversible. Okay. So you can wear it so there's a bit of waterproof on the outside. Or you can flip it and be very fashionable with the plaid. Oh, fun. And it also has a turtleneck. So it kind of comes up and covers their ears a bit. And keeps um, them super styling. That's Especially right. if they have a bit of a double chin turtlenecks work well that's right if you got you ah, know, one ah. of those one of those dogs with a lot of extra right, skin right, you know right. maybe cover that up right. um, but it also folds down too so they don't look silly or feel silly so again measure your dogs um i think the biggest thing the biggest issue that we have found again if you have a large breed dog it's sometimes really hard to find clothes or coats that fit him yeah. Now is this, this is the one you're about to show. This is the one that we ended up getting for Ollie and it's all, ours is all black. It's a higher price point, but I'm going to tell you, pretty sure I did about six coats, returned them um, online, here, there, everywhere. And then finally it came back and got this. Right, so this is Chili Dogs. Yeah. Um, it's a Canadian company as well. We always try and support Canadian yep. players. Um, it's very good construction. Um, we've never had any come back that say, you know, there's no fraying, there's nothing ripping. Yep. Um, they hold up really well and again, easily washed. Um, and they're very basic to put on. There is some um, two straps yes. and then Velcro as well for that a little bit more uh, fine fitting. Yep. Um, but you know, very good quality. Uh, well, 3M on the outside and good fleece on the inside and reflective. And reflective, well. which is awesome. And I think the thing we find is this coat and and now i sound like an infomercial it really is the only one he doesn't go nuts with it on right it's not oh, too restrictive it's not either. too restrictive a lot of coats you'll yeah. see will have um, sleeves on them yes and it doesn't really make sense for a dog right. to have sleeves right, right? right um so having their arms and their mobility and everything um and you can still use a harness with it as well which is right very nice it's not going to restrict them a whole we um quick shout out to um our house dog boarding yeah. this is the place where we take ollie whenever we go on vacation and we actually didn't have our coat yet and they go running in the field and running like the wind and so they let him borrow a coat yeah. then i'm officially the worst dog parent ever <laughs> i send my kid to camp with no coat so we came back here got this one and it's been great so and they make these anywhere from you know like small poodle size up to like a mastiff it'll but you wouldn't put this on, what temperature do you start putting a coat on a dog? I think it depends on their coat okay. and kind of how they're feeling. So if it's a short haired, um, a lot of the bully breeds, um, boxers, pit bulls, yep. Dobermans, those kind of guys, they're not meant for this kind of weather. Yeah. Um, and they can get you know cold really fast with that fine hair. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I have a little rescue from Mexico. Yeah, Frank. Um, Frankie, yeah. Frankie, yeah. And he does not like the cold whatsoever. Right. So, you know, I was already getting his new jackets and his jammies and all that <laughs> last week. It's already cold enough for him, so we promise um, it just depends on the dog. We're going to have him here yes. maybe next month because he's really fantastic. <laughs> so uh, be prepared. And I think that – let's go to booties now because I think – There's this one is, more thing from Chili Oh, dogs I, we okay, about. we can talk that. I was going to just say be prepared before right. it happens that is because – I came in here in a frantic hurry last year looking for booties and they didn't have what I needed because you were all sold out. So get them before it's time. That's right. We do try and keep things, you know, fully stocked, but it is that time of year. So uh, things are definitely their hot ticket items yes. right now. So what is this? So this uh, Chili Dogs also makes this too. Um, 
they call it either a hood or a snood sometimes they'll a call it. Snood. A snood. Okay. So this bait works really well with the chili dog's coat. Okay. Um, it kind of overlaps a little bit so there's no cold air getting through there. Is this like a dicky like on Christmas vacation? You put it just like a, it's <laughs> and like it just a sort of like tucks down under. That's right. And you can cinch it up so it's nice and warm. Keep their little ears warm. Frankie needs this. He does. He has one already. He has one. He okay. He looks very silly, but very cute. It's right. okay. It's function. <laughs> it's function. Right. All right. Um, speaking of silly. Silly, but not silly. I know. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, booties. That's right. Booties are something that I didn't realize even was necessary. And again, Josh told me when it is minus 40 now i know it doesn't get that way everywhere but certainly here in alberta we have some days that are brutal and you still want to take your dog out especially more than the backyard right why are booties so important well with lots of dogs they can get the snow and ice kind of built up in their feet yes um, and that's when you kind of start seeing them lifting their legs up and um, you can tell they're cold Hi. that way Hi. Um, and also another thing is a lot of people do not use pet safe salt on their sidewalks. Um, if you're walking around residential neighborhoods, um, it's a good idea so you're not having to avoid the sidewalk every time you come to salt because uh, the salt can also get stuck in their feet and, all, and almost cause like a chemical burn. Right. Um, so if people in your neighborhood aren't using, you know, pet safe uh, de-icer, then yeah. it can cause issues as well. So these are, you know, a very in inexpensive option. Um, these ones have like a hard rubber on the bottom, so they're perfect for the wet weather and everything. Mm -hmm. um, these guys are a little bit more stylish and, you know, maybe not so much waterproof, but it'll still protect their feet. Yep. Uh, works really well for even older dogs in the house that slip on hardwood or things yep. like that. Yep. They have a little bit of grip on the bottom, just like a like a baby's onesie. So right. they'll have lots of extra grip and just that little bit of extra warmth as well. How, how, how do these stay on? Like, I guess you've got different levels of... Right, so you gotta think of them just kind of like a sock. A sock, Buy okay. smaller than you would think and they'll stretch and oh. stick on there. Okay. And they stay on surprisingly well. And have fun trying to get them on. Yeah, the first time is always fun. Yeah. My best recommendation is to go slow, do one or two paws at a time, okay. let them get used to it. Don't try and freak them out all at once or else you'll have a good video to share on Facebook. I was going to say, and my recommendation is get them when they're sleeping because yeah. <laughs> we actually put all these boots on when he was conked and so he was kind of just like giving us his leg <laughs> and the next day he, it did not work out so well. These are a little more intense. Yeah, so these are uh, the posh pads. Okay. Um, they're a Canadian company. You'll see kind of a lot of imitators, I like to call them. Yep. Um, and they're kind of mass produced and maybe not the best quality. These guys are still all hand sewn. Yep. So they have a really nice neoprene, so there's a bit of stretch to them. This is what we have. And a really nice uh, like suede leather on the bottom mm -hmm. too. Um, so they hold up really nice. Um, the other nice thing about them is that there's two straps. Okay. Um, a lot of booties you'll see will only be kind of the lower part. Right. This one comes up a bit more so you can kind of cinch them on there. And it's make way sure harder for them off. to get them off, That's like right. to kick them off. Yeah. How do you measure for a boot? So with these guys, again, the best is to bring them in to try them on. Um, but really what you're going to want to do is measure from the nail to the back of the pad. So the longest nail right to the back of the pad. And that's going to be roughly... It's, it'll be really close on what measurement you I remember I measured and I'm pretty sure we were way off because I came in and told you you're, and you, you said, your dog's not that big. I don't <laughs> think that's gonna fit. No, 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 I think it is, I think it is. They didn't fit. That's right. Okay. And, and a lot of dogs too, um, like my guys for instance, they, they're you know, 60, 70 pounds, right. but they have tiny little feet. They right. were almost as small. Right, okay. Um, whereas, you know, if you get to like a boxer or you know a bigger dog with bigger feet, they can go up to like the extra large, wow. right? Even okay. if they're a bit smaller. So it is kind of, um, it doesn't necessarily go by the weight or how right. big your dog is. It's all, their feet are always gonna be different And are sizes. you comfortable if I did get them home and they didn't quite fit, could I Oh, for sure, like as long, if you, if you try them on and they're not working, um, you keep your packaging okay. and we're more than they're happy awesome. to take them back or switch them out for you. So you guys are awesome like that. Now, okay, can we move to the bombs? Yes. Sure. So, okay, so is this the paw bomb? Posit okay, you can explain it. Is this instead of boots? Is this when do you use? So this can be this used kind of stuff? for um, either as like if you're if their paws get dry and cracked in the winter. Okay. Um, or nose, we have ones for paws or for their nose as well. Okay. That's with this one. It's a called happy snouts oh my gosh oh it's sealed it's, what it's, does it smell like Anything it doesn't right? have any good smell oh, okay. to it 
um, but it is very just basic stuff. So hemp seed oil, beeswax, um, all natural kind of stuff, okay, shea yeah. butter. It helps to really moisturize the paws and the snout. When um, Oliver licks it, it's fine? It's fine. Okay. It's not going to hurt him. There's nothing in there okay. that's bad. Okay. Um, and another oh, thing you can use the paw one for is, again, instead of a boot, you can put a good coating on the bottom of their feet. Yeah. And it just gives like a little bit of a protection oh. um, from snow and ice buildup. And also, like I said, the uh, some of the harmful salts that people use on their sidewalks okay. as well. Okay. Okay. Um, so you can kind of, this one's a nice little tin. So you can just literally dip their foot in it. It's very, oh, very easy to use. Oh, this is smart. And it's very, very just nice Just step in it. And to be completely honest with you. Oh, that's okay. I use this as a lip chap in the winter. Okay, you use all the products? I do. Stay tuned because he's going to be stuff. eating dog treats soon. That's right. Um, this smells good. It's very, uh, just natural like if smelling. I had a cold, I'd put it under my nose. Yeah. And that it smells feels good. really good and it works better than any lip chap I've yeah. used. So. And it's all, you know, natural stuff, Canadian company as well. So. Um, and we have another one here too. This is actually locally made in Red Deer. What? Uh, CCBs is her name. You probably see her at craft shows and things like okay. that. Okay. Um, I actually use her beard wax. It works very okay. well. Okay. Um, but again, this one is basically beeswax, coconut oil, very natural, um, very simple. I love it. And it smells really good. And you can use it on just about anything dry. You can use their nose, their El paws. Oh, I was like, you my elbows? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, I, I'm pretty sure it's the same formula okay. as the, the people stuff, this but is, it's very nice I'm as well. I'm still learning when he gets, because I'm new to all this still, when he gets little cracks in his paws, I suppose all that would be really, really good for it. Yeah, and you, you can just use a little bit, put it in there daily. Okay. Um, and like you said, like if he licks it, not a big deal because it's very safe. As okay, well, so. perfect. And this one is more of a, it's a good smelling. <laughs> You're so cute. Um, more of a moisturizer. This one wouldn't be as good for... Ooh. And that's for their paws too. That's for their paws as well. Um, again, it's not that like the, good. this stuff is kind of waxy, so it yeah. can put a coating, but this is more just for those dry, cracked paws. Or um, it'll heal them up a pray fast. ski when you come inside yeah. and you want to just give them a little extra moisture. That's right. Oh my gosh, my husband's probably like, this is not all coming home with us. <laughs> um, okay, so it's important. It makes sense. I think I struggle with what human products can you use? And it's just nice to know that it takes out the guesswork. Just right. get it, you have it. That would probably last you a couple winters. It does last a long time. You and I have, I have three dogs and I can get, you know, a whole winter out of, you know, it's not even gone. By the end okay, of the perfect, winter, so. perfect. Long lasting and, you know, very good price. We didn't well. show this super cute. The oh. So these are more of our, you know, stylish ones, but they still work, keep the dogs warm. I'm excited. So this is a very nice one. Um, you can actually get a burgundy one that matches the socks. Oh. So, you know, if you're real stylish, you have an Instagram dog. There you go. Um, this is amazing. I, I did try one of these on Ollie. It didn't quite fit. It was a little sausagey, but <laughs> I probably just didn't get the right size. And I like here that it also tells you temperature, machine, machine washable. Like, right. they make it very simple. And excuse me, can Frankie wear this? Frankie's a Frankie is no. That. He, but he would not. He wants to be cool. <laughs> Look at these. So we have, a, we have a few cool ones like that. We do Some this for with, Halloween. With hoods. It's a good Halloween costume, but you can use it all the time. Super, super cute. What is this? So this, these are brand new. We just got them not too long ago. Okay. So this is from Dogton Abbey out of Wait. Okotoks. What is the name of the company? Dogton Abbey. Oh, this is amazing. Super cute. You need to now speak in a British accent as you describe it. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Okay. Dogton Abbey from Okotoks? That's right. So they're all handmade. Again, okay. you know, very local. Yep. Um, and they're a very fancy, nice bandana. Oh, they're nice. Yeah, so they're really nice and soft and they're warm. Um, you can use them, you know, like oh. instead of a snood, you can tie that up oh around. Oh my gosh, that's Give them some amazing. extra warmth, but they have all different kinds of... Uh, plaids. Very These ones cool. aren't as easily washable because they are a little bit more stylish. Um, they're high end. You would wash them in your sink That's with right. wool light. They're hand wash. Right. And, you know, iron if you need to, if your dog's <laughs> right. that fancy. Right. Um, but just another cool product. You know, I know lots of people get their, um, lots of people coming in doing engagement photos. I was just wedding going photos. to say that. This is a perfect kind of fall or a fall for winter family photo shoot. That's, That's right. perfect. And again, like really high quality. And as long as you take care of them, they're yeah. gonna, they're going to last you a very long time. Yeah. Awesome. And then you've got we these are just some cozy blankets. Yeah, so this one is actually a snuggle blanket. What? So for those of you with kind of little high maintenance dogs out or there, Oliver Anderson, my dog, Four Dog right. Night as well. Four Dog for Night this. as well. Okay. So basically it's like a little sack. So you put your dog in there. If he's one that you carry around all the time, 
you get your puppy in there and it's how big do you make the, how big did she make them this is about the biggest they come. i could cram him in there he could go in there oliver That's would right. go in there and i actually she made me a blanket out of this material and it's my favorite it's probably the softest this is favorite. amazing you could literally put your dog and they in come it. all the way down into little wee guys so um, we have a lot of, you know, customers with Sphinx cats. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. And this is a very popular thing for them because they like to take them around. Because they're hairless. But they get very cold in the winter, so it's a very good idea. What's it called to... again, this one? Uh, it's a snuggle sack. Oh, yeah. that is so cute. <laughs> and again, machine washable should last you forever. You guys have really awesome, awesome stuff. So what did we learn? Boots are necessary if it's freezing, freezing cold. Right. Bombs are good. Jackets, measure... Come back so in. I'll show on this uh, little yeah. stuffed dog here. Just kind of a rough way to do a measurement mm -hmm. for a jacket. Yes, this is good. Um, this demo is good because I'm never quite sure. Because like I said, a lot of people come in and not too sure how much their dog weighs, yeah. what exactly breed they are because there's lots of rescues around well, here Well, they say well. measure from here to here and I kind of, right. do, I don't know. So the easiest would be where the collar starts. That's okay. your starting point. Yep. And the ending point is where the tail starts. Okay. So it's very easy, just a quick, yep. even if you can get a rough measurement, yep. that works for us. And the next, the only other one you need is the girth. So right behind their shoulders. Okay. And it's very easy, just right there. Okay. And that's what most coat companies use as measurements. Okay. Um, so if we have those two measurements, it'll make life a lot easier. Okay. Sorry, I'm just dressing my dog. Oh, that's okay. Um, okay, so that's great. And I think that that's a good, that's just a good rule of thumb, I think. Because um, so many things have crazy sizes right. and they advertise that it's going to fit, um, you know, a large dog. <laughs> See, you could have this on your dog today. This is actually really cute. Um, you guys have really good products and this is just such a small and this selection. This is just a smidgen. Like I said, it's we're very early in the season. We have tons of new brands coming yes, in. Yes, that you're very um, excited about. Very excited about them. Um, a lot of them are made with you know, kind of the same stuff that Arcturix and Patagonia is made Very with. Very cool. Um, so you know it's going to hold up and it's going to keep your dog warm and Well, and dry. it's an investment because we sure. know we'll probably never need a new coat for him. With If you go, you know, it is get what you pay for. Yep. If you, you know, go for that good quality one, you're not going to need to buy another one. So in saying all of this, this is the time when you get uh, super generous and we want to let you know that if you're in the area, what are you offering? Um, so until October 8th, yep. um, we're going to offer 10% off all uh, coats, sweaters, and booties. Oh, that's awesome. So come in this week. Um, that's perfect. I believe it's supposed to snow a little bit more. It is so supposed to snow. Good, we're supposed to get like 20 centimeters. It's a good time to come in and get them. So. Amazing. So as we leave you, I'm going to get you to hold this. These are Sweetie Paws Bakery. I decided that at the end of every um, month when we do our chat, Josh is going to eat a treat. Because Josh, really, you say they're all so good. They're very easy. Like okay, this one's crazy. This there. is Nutty Hearts Carob and Roasted Peanuts. So the ingredients, sweetened carob, which is fine for dogs. That's right. Not it's like chocolate. It's carob. Chocolate, right. Yeah. Coconut oil, roasted, unsalted peanuts. So oh. they're... So it's like a... Me and all the girls in here, honestly, we're snacking on these. Okay, I'll you eat one snacking? Too. That's probably what we're eating. Is it's it really those. okay? Oh, it's so good. So you're not lying. Look at my face. Oh, this is so good. And there's all different kinds. I can't bring them home because the dogs get a little mad. I eat them all before they get a chance. That so. is literally so delicious. Very good. And you can buy them here? You can. We have peanut butter, coconut, chocolate, you all guys. different kinds. Yeah. Okay, that was a winner. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have eaten that big bite. MegTucker.ca for everything that you need to know. This video will live there as well. Thank you to you, Josh. Thank you. And we will be back next month. So 10% until October 8th on booties and coats and all that good stuff. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.